mind if I join in the fun? Ah! A rose! Golly, it isn't easy to make friends when they see me. Wish me luck, Billy. I'm going to the skating races. Can I skate in the races too, Johnny? Huh, Johnny? Huh? Now, you know you can't skate, Billy. You better stay here and play with your snowman. Oh, gee. If I only knew how to skate. <clears throat> or perhaps I could be of some assistance. Did you say something, snowman? I most certainly did. Golly, you're a real life snowman. And I think I can teach you how to skate. You can? Sure enough. Now the first thing we have to do is find you a pair of ice skates. Billy, and do just as I do. Okay, Mr. Snowman. Left, right, left, right, that's fine. Keep going left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. Billy! What happened, Mr. Snowman? <laughs> I guess we just ran out of ice. mother of invention. All right, Billy. Now just relax and let me show you what to do. That's it, Billy. Keep it up. You're doing swell. Just won the Silver Skates Trophy. Gee, thanks! And bless Mommy, and Daddy, and Johnny, and Mr. Snowman. Good night, 
Billy.
sir. Can you spare a dime for a cup of coffee? You're a nice man. I like you. You're kind and you're generous. A gentleman and a scholar. A heart as big as your briefcase. What can I do for you? Your wish is my command. Hide that bright and honest face of yours. You have such wonderful character, a typical example of integrity. And you're so generous with your hard earned money. We interrupt this program for the latest news flash. Police are searching for the bank clerk who skipped with a half million dollars in cash. There is still no clue to his whereabouts. Sir, you forgot your suntan oil. Allow me. My, but the natives are restless tonight. God. And this fine, wonderful face. It's a doll face. <laughs> You're so good to me. You take me fishing. How can I repay you? Fix your hook, find you a fish, scrape your barnacles, get you a drink, a sandwich to eat, maybe? <laughs> Thought fish is very nice, but be careful of the bones. someone else's opinion. Answer me yes or no. Look. Should he be in the movies or not? Take him away. You got the wrong man. He's good. He's kind. He's generous. My buddy, my pal. Ah, ah. Sure now, me little man. Here's the reward for you. You're a nice man, too. I like you. You're kind and you're generous. A gentleman and a scholar. A heart as big as a house. What can I do for you? Your wish is my command.
much for our strength, Casper. <laughs> I'm gonna exercise, and someday you'll be surprised at how big and strong I'll be. Golly, if I were big and strong, they'd never do half the things they do now. <laughs> He's gonna scare someone, the meanie. <laughs> What's the big idea? Yep. Nobody likes to be frightened, especially out of his sleep. Wow. <laughs> Say, you're my cousin Powerhouse, aren't you? Casper, I was just on my way to visit you. Gosh, you sure are husky. Well, I made myself strong to fight bullies. I wish I could build up just to defend myself. Well, I've got a case full of exercising equipment I can give you. Wow. I wonder how that puny Casper's getting along with his exercises. Oh, that's Tom and Alike again. <laughs> I guess the ghostly trio won't bother you anymore, Casper. I hope not. <laughs> Boo. That's him coming home now. Wow. They sure are noisy. Boo. Boo. Quiet, please. Who does that Casper think he is ordering us around? Out! Out, out, out! Look at her. Casper has exercised so hard, he's turning into a super ghost. They think I'm you, Casper. They believe you suddenly developed muscles. <laughs> That's a joke on them. Now that Casper has become more powerful than us, we've got to do some thinking. He'll stop us from our scare raids. Say, we've got to do exactly what he did. Huh? We'll exercise. We'll become powerful ourselves. Excuse me, Powerhouse, while I go and see what the ghostly trio are up to. I'll be right back. Touch the ground without bending your knees, fatso. Oh, I don't see what difference it makes. Now for some weightlifting. Grab some logs. What? When we're all tired out from calisthenics? We've got to get as powerful as Casper. All right, all right. Hey, fellas, look. I can lift this big log real easy. I've become strong. Why, it's just a hollow, dried-out old log. Wise guy. <laughs> Casper, you're back to your normal, miserable size again. Oh, well, you see, I I've learned to reduce or grow at will. But I'm still very powerful, so don't get funny with me. Yeah? Well, grow powerful right now. Uh, uh, first I have to get a running start. Oh, we think you're kidding us. Oh, no, I'm not. Let me take care of this. Convinced? No, uh, we're convinced. Well, Casper, it was nice visiting with you, but I've got to be leaving now. Golly, so soon. I'm sure glad you came, Powerhouse. You keep exercising, and you'll really get big and strong. I sure will. Goodbye, Cousin Powerhouse. So long, Casper. Uh-oh. Fatso's been listening. He must know how we fooled him. Wait till the guys hear this. Where you been, you loafer? We've been exercising like crazy. Well, let's throw him in the lake. Wait, let me explain. Casper's a fake. What did you say? Casper had a powerful cousin visiting him. So, that's it. Are you sure, Fatso? I saw both of them. Then that powerful guy took off and left. Left, huh? <laughs> then that leaves Casper to us. To think of something to make them think I can grow big. But what can I do? That's it. My paints. I'll have to hurry. They'll be coming home soon and they'll be real mad. Now that we're mad enough, we'll scare the living daylights out of that Casper. Uh oh, I hear them coming. I hope my scheme works. Now, he's bigger than ever. I sure am. Would you like to make something of it? Uh, please don't hurt us, Casper. Oh, we didn't mean nothing. <laughs> they thought I was standing in front of the real house instead of this cut-out painting I made. 
And to top it off, the exercising I did really developed a muscle.